Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-loved market, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Today's video is a haul from one of my favorite brands, which is Prada. It just feels like a boss brand. It just works really well for professional wear. I love the Safiano leather, and I always feel really confident when I wear it. So I'm just gonna show you these quick pieces. The first bag has already been revealed on Instagram, and that is this Safiano Lux tote. I have this in the Talco, which is the off-white, and it's one of my absolute favorite bags, and I was really excited to add it in red. I did decide to get rid of the twin queer bags. So if you're interested in that, check out the luxury items I'm selling or have sold and why video, which I will link. But this one I love. I was a little nervous about getting the same bag, just in a different color, but I figured if Olivia Pope can have like 10 of them, then I can have at least two. So that's sort of how I was feeling which kind of brings me to my next one. This one is sort of the middle ground. I have another red bag and then another tote. So the next little red bag came in this box. I've already unboxed it and worn it, so I don't really need to show you the whole thing, but I love that it has this sweet tissue paper. And then the box itself has the little Prada logo, just like the interior lining does all around it. And the box feels like it's Safiano leather. So I think that that is a really nice touch. I do really, do really like that. And this one is the little camera bag. How cute is this? I love the red color. I think it's beautiful. It's just an empty pit inside, except that it has, it's a little stuffed right now with my stuff, but it has a slip pocket on one side and then it has some card slots on the other. I don't know how well you can see it, but if you want a full review of this bag and what fits inside, then do let me know. This one is still for sale and I just love it. I think it's great. You can also remove this. And so I'm debating if I should use it as a clutch or if not, I actually asked in my luxury items I'm selling and why if I should replace my Epi Pochette with it. But I do think I'm probably more likely to use that one as a clutch. So maybe I'm not quite ready to get rid of it yet. I have to decide. And then the last one is a little more contentious, I guess. And this is a giant bag. I'm not even sure if it'll sh totally show up on camera. This is the executive tote. So it's the extra large Safiano Lux tote, and it is the double zipped version. As you can see, it has lost some structure. So I currently have it stuffed and I hope to help fix that. But this bag is huge and it's a little bit heavy. I really wanted a large black bag for work. So I was really excited to find it and in the zip top, I have it stuffed right now, but in the zip top, you can actually fit documents, no problem. What I discovered when I got this bag was that I actually think I can go one size down. And if you get the large Galleria, which ends, I think it's like 186 is the number of it. I'll link it down below. That one comes with a strap. So I'm desperately trying to find that one for a great price pre-loved. And I think that I'll let this one go at this point because it's just, it's a full pound heavier than the Lux Tote just on its own. And it's just so large that I feel like when I'm carrying it in the crook of my arm or by the top, it just gets a little heavy as the day goes on or if I have a long way to walk. So as much as I love it, I really like the black and I do really like having the zip top. I'm also impressed with how much it closes. I didn't think it closed that much. It's a little better than the Lux Tote that way. So I always had ruled out the double zip as being a possibility for me and the classic medium or small would be too small for, for me to actually be able to fit my folders in the zipper, which is definitely something I want. But now, now that I know that that large exists, it's a much harder to find, but I do plan on eventually finding it and then using this one in the meantime until I do. So that's it. Those are my reveals. I'm really excited to have added all of these into my collection. If you have any questions about them, please do let me know. And if you have anything from Prada that you love, please do let me know what that is in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in a future one. Bye.